What is up everyone and welcome back to the BMX News Channel or the BNC for short. In this installment we are going to be talking about the differences in chromoly and high tensile steel. If you want to go back and find this video you can find it in our bicycle information playlist but let's get into it. One thing you guys really need to know about chromoly and high tensile steel is there's a big difference in it. Both metals can handle different tensile strengths and they can hold up to a different amount of abuse. If you're serious about BMX, you do not want to pick anything with high tensile steel. High tensile steel is low carbon and the chromoly is a high carbon steel, which means that it has a lot more carbon in it. So it's a lot stronger, it has a lot stronger tensile strength. It costs a lot more to acquire the material to use it. So that's generally why when you see a bike with full chromoly, it costs more. But there's a reason why. What I have for you guys here today is two forks. This would be a set of forks on a bike right here on the front. One set is made out of high tensile steel and one set is made out of chromoly. I wonder if you guys can tell which is which. Now if you guys thought that this was high tensile steel and this was chromoly, you are totally correct. I don't know if you guys noticed, but right here in the in the arms or the legs or whatever you call it, the forks of I don't know what you call this, okay? But right here in the side, on the inside, it's been bent. Now my friend took this off a quarter pipe, kind of cased it, and they ended up bending just, just freak accident. First time he really crashed his bike, this is what happened to it. They totally bent. As you can see, they're, they're curved. You almost can't even tell that they're messed up, but yeah, this is high tensile steel. These are about two years old and they messed up on the first case. These right here I ran for about four years and I've grinded on them. I have done a lot of abuse to these things and these are made out of full chromoly with a one piece steer tube. And I wanted to make this video just to show you guys the difference in the two metals and really why people choose chromoly over high tensile steel. High tensile steel is not good for really any kind of abuse. If you take if you crash your bike, if you're taking it over a big dirt jump or or a big quarter pipe and you have to throw it down and bail it, chances are with high tensile steel you're gonna bend something or crack something uh, the first couple times you crash your bike. So that's why I really wanted to come out with this video because I wanted to show you guys up front the actual differences in chromoly and high tensile steel. I hope you use this information to uh, make, make the decisions on what kind of bike you need and just remember if a bike is made with 100% full chromoly, it's going to cost more because it costs more for the manufacturer to acquire the material and to work with it. So the end result is the bicycle is going to cost a little bit more money. But just to let you know, it is worth it. Try to stay away from high tensile steel. But anyway, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. I, I'm kind of hobbling around right now. Oh, there's my dog. Say hello to Aspen, everybody. Aspen, say hello. It's my beautiful dog, but yeah, I uh, blew my almost blew my ankle out on a dirt bike last week, so it's been really hard for me to make these videos. But I really enjoy making them, and I uh, really enjoy you guys watching them and putting this content out. So if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more videos like this, go down and hit that subscribe button, share it so somebody else can see it. Other than that, talk to you guys later. Peace.